Hey guys, it's Val here and welcome back to my channel. Today's video is going to be a tag video. I haven't done one of these in a very long time, but I thought I saw this tag and I thought why not because it's a fashion tag and this is a fashion channel. So why not incorporate this tag because normally these tag videos are beauty related and you know. Anyways, so I thought why not do this tag. But before I get into it, do you like my background? Please thumbs up this video if you would like my videos to be here instead of my normal location because I think this is a brighter and the, I don't know, the scene is just more, you know? So yeah, let me know in the comments below and thumbs up this video. Moving on to the tag, it's called My Style in 5 Tag and I will tag a few people here or in the description box below and yeah, let's get into it icon one is obviously Audrey Hepburn. I always looked up to her style because she was around at that time where it was Marilyn Monroe and Sophia Loren and all those beautiful women that had you know curves and boobs all out and that was considered sexy and she brought back the elegance and you don't have to show your body to be sexy kind of thing and I just I love that her look was just effortless and just I don't know I just like her style it was just beautiful I, that's just my take she had very amazing taste in clothing Another one being Hilary Duff. If you haven't seen my inspired look video, it will be in the link bar, the description box below. Um, I love her style. It's basically like looking in a mirror because I ha we have so much similarities when it comes to fashion, and I just like I definitely ins get inspiration from her, but also I do already dress that way. If that makes any sense, it's just definitely my style to the T. Um, as well as Kate Middleton, oh, the Duchess of Cambridge. Can we just take a moment to just appreciate the fact that she's a princess and dresses so casual and normal and she does not act like a royal at all and in a good way, not in like a trashy way. I just, I love her style so much. I even have a book based on her fashions and her styles. I love that she can just rock a pair of jeans and her little long chomp and she could just be out going to McDonald's or something and she still looks amazing. One, I'm not certified in giving advice. But I will share with you guys some of the some of the things that I've learned over the years. So one, I would have to say be yourself, obviously be yourself. Because if you're inspired by Hilary Duff style and you want to dress like her, I would personally say go for it, but also go for your own thing. So you can incorporate her style and your style together and you have a unique you style and instead of just copying her whole outfit kind of situation I just I don't know that's just how I learned that's what I learned when I was getting into fashion I definitely never saw myself getting to this point in my life but definitely it helps so much more when you're yourself Another thing is, if you're going to spend money on fashion pieces, please let it be like a handbag or some jewelry or some shoes. Things that you know are going to be timeless pieces that you can pass down for generations and generations. I would definitely not tell you to not buy something that you really want, but for me, I wouldn't spend $200 on a blouse that might go out of style in three months or I'm gonna wear once or something like that so I definitely will take that into consideration when I purchase my very own Tiffany piece for the very first time the first thought before I bought it was is this the piece that I'm going to pass down to my future daughter or granddaughter or whoever you know I narrowed it down like that before I made the investment because I'm not gonna buy a piece that won't be timeless. I want to buy a piece that I can pass down for generations and it will still look beautiful for years to come. So definitely make the investment. Think think of the quality over quantity in that situation. Um, I'm not going to show you any pictures because I was 160 pounds and over most likely and I'm 5 feet which is I was overweight. 
Um, I used to hide myself. I used to wear baggy clothes. I used to just basically dress like a boy. And it was just because I was hiding. I didn't, didn't like myself. So um, those of you who went to school with me, you guys know obviously my style back then. But over high school years, I decided, like, I was changing, but I still was overweight. But I, um, once you hit the confidence, you're good to go. And that's what I did. Once I hit a certain age, I was able to, like, be like, whatever, I don't care. And now I dress the way I am. And this is what I, I aspired as a teen. I always wanted to dress the way I dress now. And I'm happy. I am very versatile, but I'm also very casual chic. That's my hands down, that's what I call what I wear. Casual chic. I will insert some pictures if you don't follow my Instagram, which you guys should. Um, I will show you some pictures that I of outfits that I always wear. My favorite designers are obviously designers that I cannot afford right at this moment, but um, in the future I definitely will be that kind of girl that will make the investment on these brands but I also I love Vince Camuto I own a few pieces from him um, I love Victoria Beckham sunglasses I also like Rebecca Minkoff, Prada, Valentino like etc etc I love those designers because they inspire me so much that even though what I want to do in the future has nothing to do with fashion I do want to eventually branch out into my own designer line which was something that I've always wanted to do I do have my own bracelets um, but that's nothing compared to what I want in the future so with that being said hope you guys enjoy this video and thumbs up if you like more tags and you like my setup and yeah so see you guys in my next video bye